Right, uh, another box break, but with a difference. Um, I know the majority of our box breaks are Premier League or football uh, cards, um, but this one is, or this sport, I guess, is um, is probably even more of a passion of mine, um, although a long-time football fan too. Um, and also possibly the, in my opinion, the biggest investment opportunity in sports cards that there is at the moment. I mean, they really have only just started to rise over the last couple of months, um, and that's tennis. Um, and so I have a 2003 Net Pro Premier Edition uh, box. Now, the great thing about this box is that it has rookie cards of three like bona fide goats. You have Roger Federer, Rafa Nadal, and Serena Williams. Now, um, there's a lot of confusion around the Net Pro sets that were released uh, in 2003 because they released, I believe, four, maybe five sets. I, I've, I've poured hours of research into this and I'm still, you know, not 100% sure as to all of the different variations that they released. Um, however, um, all of them are still considered true rookie cards. So any Federer's we pull from this, any Nadal or Serena are considered a, a true rookie card. Um, so as well as the Premier Edition, which is kind of like sort of the standard, you have a glossy version of this, which are very sought after. Um, I believe that they are uh, in a sort of limited print run of 10,000 cards um, per per individual number. Uh, you also have a Net Pro Elite version, um, which are limited to 2,000 sets. They didn't release them in packs. You just have sets. Um, there's a Net Pro Elite Event Edition, which is a uh, completely different set. Um, again, limited, I believe, to... I think it's five, I can't remember if it's five or 10,000, but again, limited. Um, and then you have a Net Pro International Edition, which are completely different cards. Um, but again, all of them are considered true rookie cards. Um, and the prices right now are starting to rise pretty significantly. I mean, only a few months ago, um, you know, you could pick up a Federer graded uh, card from the um the out of 2000 elite set uh, and they seem to be the most popular ones or like the ones that are sort of uh getting the, the sort of the biggest prices same with serena um you know prices north of ten thousand dollars now for a graded 10 um in the elite but you're still seeing like graded tens from from this set you know in the in the high hundreds um and i still think that you know given the pure amount of cards that have released for other sports for goats in other sports you know you have your tiger woods 2001 upper deck golf rookie um there's 24,000 psa graded cards from from him and you know 10 still go in the thousands um so i think this you know has a lot of potential um so with this i think i think these now um uh, you know they, they've shot up in price too over maybe six months ago you could have got one of these for about a hundred dollars uh 150 dollars 100 pounds something like that um this now goes for over 300 uh, and is creeping up again you know you're probably going to look to pay 400 three or four 300 pounds 400 dollars for one of these today um so on each of the boxes it has an oversized card uh, this one being uh, the wonderful Anna Kornikova. Um, you know, another player here who a lot of hopes for. She made a Wimbledon semi-final, got to number eight in the world, um, but actually never won uh, a title, a singles title, which uh, for a player of the talent that she had was a real shame. She did a lot better with doubles, um, had a couple of Grand Slam wins with Martina Hingis as her partner. 
Um, and I believe Martina Hingis, I think her rookie card's in here too. Another another great player, not necessarily considered GOAT level because, you know, she retired early, came back and focused on doubles really. Um, but so many good players from this set. Anyway, enough chatting, we'll get into it. Uh, I already opened the, uh, the seal, so... Oop. On each, on each of the packs, we have Andy Roddick, uh, Leighton Hewitt, or um, Anna Kornikova. Um, so what do we have? We have um, 18 packs, five cards per pack. And like I said, Roger, I think has two cards in this set. Um, Rafa as well, I think has two. I think, I think the three, the big ones, they have two cards each from this set. Uh, it's a set that's numbered up to 100, and I believe 91 or 90 to 100 is a short run. So those are um, going to be slightly more sought after. All right, let's see if we can get it. Oh, my goodness. Right. Be careful with... Oh, wow. Ha! Huh. Straight off the bat. Look at that. What a pull first card. All right, we'll, uh, we'll come to that. So, Sandra Kleinover, never heard of her. Juan Carlos Ferrero, great player. Um, I think he made a slam final. Never won a slam, but I think he made a slam final. Unless he won the French, I'm not sure. But anyway, Roger Federer, rookie card. First pack, what a pull. Um, leave that over there, I will sleeve it shortly. Um... But yeah, so Roger Federer, like I said, has, has two cards, the number 11, and, and he has one in the 90s as well that I believe has like a blue background of him doing like a backhand slice. Tommy Huss, another good player. Robbie Ginepri. Tommy Robredo. Fabrice Santoro. And Eva Maioli. Um, I think, I genuinely think that given, you know, like, like the Jordan... Fleer 86 set. Um, I believe that the rookies from this will bring up the value of all of these cards in future years. They're, they're still going to be relatively cheap, but oh, here we go. Williams Sisters, number 51. All right, we'll start on this side. Michael Lodra, Vince Spadia, American. Carol Cochera. Oh, and there we go. We have a Serena rookie. Amazing. What a great first two packs. Serena. Really nice card. And yeah, a little bit of whitening on the uh, on the edges. And the Williams sisters as well. That's uh is that them at Wimbledon? I don't know whether is that? I'm not sure whether I think that yeah, I think that's part of the card. A little bit of whitening around the edges, but, you know, these cards are 18 years old now, so they didn't have the same technology as you do today with, you know, the prisms and the chrome, top, top chromes of the world. Um, anyway, moving on. Let's see how I recognise that. Is that not a great is it? No, it's Max Murney. Another good Belarusian... Doubles player mostly, you know, decent singles, but Paul Goldstein, Ali Baker, Brendan Evans, Dominic Abati, and Max Murney. No one really to write home there. Uh, all right, Mary Pitt. Oh, I used to like Mary Pierce. <laughs> Uh, Clarissa Fernandez, Wayne Ferreira, Michael Russell, and Lena Krasnorutskaya, Krasnorutskaya, yeah, something like that. Uh, all right, Todd Martin, good player back in the day. Uh, Richard Gasquet, amazing backhand. Backhand of dreams. 
James Blake, I think that's another rookie card. Uh, I think Gasquet as well. I think there's, a, to be fair, I think a lot of these are rookie cards. Uh, Lindsay Davenport, not sure about hers. But I think, I think this was the first proper tennis set that was released. Uh, I'm going to put Davenport over there, actually. Um, so I believe a lot of these are true rookies. Yeah, Mokanias, I can see there. Who else do we have? Amanda Kurtzer, Ramon Delgado, Felix Mantia, Bob Bryan, part of the Bryan brothers who uh, only just retired, but was it last year? And they're in their 40s. Uh, Guillermo Canyas. Hopefully, we can pull a couple couple of Federer's, a couple of uh, Serena's, and a couple of Rafa. Lisa Raymond, Michael Chang, obviously great player. This is not his rookie though. So NetPro made another set in 1991 called the NetPro Tour Stars. Um, and in that set, they had, again, a huge amount of amazing rookies in that. I mean, the, the big ones from that set really were Agassi and Sampras. Um, but Chang was in that, Goran Ivanisevic, um, I believe a John McEnroe rookie card was in that, although, you know, he'd had stickers released before, I believe Agassi did too, um, but the Agassi card is like firmly established as his rookie mm. card now. Anyway, Michael Chang, Daniela Hanchuko uh, Hanchukova, Anastasia Miskina, and Sebastian Grosjean. Sheng Shalkin, Megan Shaughnessy, Jan Michael Gamble. Oh, Pete Sampras, that's a nice one. And Thomas Johansson. Uh, Magnus Norman, back card here. Let's see. Mirjana Lucic. I always remember Lucic playing with the uh, the Prince racket that w didn't have the, the V, it was like the stick, you know, kind of in the style of like a wooden racket, but made out of uh, out of graphite or whatever modern material uh, rackets were made out of in, in 2003 or earlier. Um, Chanda Rubin, Jeff Morrison, Mariano Zabaleta, Magnus Norman. Oh, another good one. We have a Rafa. Be careful with this. Get the edges. All right. We'll start with another James Blake. Ashley Harkelroad. Another player who was... Uh, a lot was expected of her. Um, but she kind of fell to the wayside a bit. Um, I think her good looks got in the way of her career a little bit. I think she ended up doing Playboy. Um, anyway, Ashley Hark Road. She, you can find a lot of her cards in like a number of different sets. She's still, uh, I wouldn't say sought after, but there's a lot of cards out there. Emily Moresmo, great player. Wimbledon winner. Andy Murray's coach for a little while. Raymond Sluiter. And Rafael Nadal Pereira. Oh my god, he looks young there, doesn't he? Look at that. He uh he can't be more than sixteen, seventeen years old. Junior status, junior status, junior status. Yep. I mean I know he came onto the scene as a I think he was a sixteen year old, uh, when he actually turned pro. Well maybe I'm confusing him with Leighton Hewitt. I know Leighton Hewitt won his first title I think when he was 16. Uh, anyway, Rafa Nadal, rookie there, amazing. All right, we're about halfway through I think. What do we got? One, two, three, four, 
Oh no, more than halfway through. Seven packs to go. Fernando Gonzalez. All right, let's start at the front. Elena Baltasha. Um, so Elena Baltasha sadly passed away, um, I believe of cancer. Um, you know, she was the British number one for, for a while. Um, but sad, very sad. Um, Taylor Dent, good player. Brian Vahali, never heard of him. Nicholas Kiefer. I, uh, I used to, I still do actually, when I played tennis, I used to, certainly used to wear my cap backwards because I thought Nicholas Kiefer looked cool. Uh, shows my age a little bit there. And Fernando Gonzalez. Um, the biggest forehand, one of the biggest forehands in the game, I mean, rivaling Del Potro. Am I thinking of Gonzalez? Is he Chilean? Yeah, yeah. Amazing forehand. I mean, he hits it like an absolute rocket. Good player. All right. All right, we still want to pull another another couple of big cards. I mean, the fact that we've got the, the big three is great, but let's, uh, let's hope for some more. Conchita Martinez. Uh, Mike Bryan. Was it the other Bryan we had? I'm not sure. Xavier Melis. Leighton Hewitt. World number one, 2002. Sorry, I'm not really holding it to the thing. Uh, and Levar Harper Griffith. Can't say I've heard of him. Another Brian Vahali. Oh, maybe I'm butchering that. Oh, all right. Paradorn Shishafan player Gustavo Quirton he was a absolute beast on the clay good player though uh, Pete Sampras wearing his I think the air oscillates there I'm a bit of a tennis nerd so uh, I know that Sampras used to wear the oscillates uh, and Michael Gamble and Vahali again. Put the same press over there. Andrew Illy. Hishimarazi. Nicholas Kiefer again. Fernando Gonzalez is a different one. Is that is that a different one? No, no, it's the same one. All right, three packs to go. Let's see if we can get a couple more rookie, a couple more of the big ones. Barbara Shep's not going to do it for us. Oh, Martina Hingis and Agassi. Oh, some good players though. Leighton Hewitt. And then those two. Uh, Hingis, not a rookie. Looks like she was number 10 in the world. Yeah, she already earned $18 million by then. Uh, Agassi, number two. Leighton Hewitt. Yep. Let's put those three in there anyway. Two more. Monica Seller. Oh. Look at how many good players they've, they've been. All right, Thomas Enquist, Marty Fish, Andre Agassi, nice card, Martina Hingis, and Monica Sellers. It's a variation for so the Hingis one. Let's have a look at these. I can just look at these side by side. You have an 89 and a 12. So maybe it's like... Maybe it was from 89 or something that they had the uh, the, the the short print run. 
I don't know. I'm going to have to look more into that. Last pack. Andy Roddick. So I started using his, well, the uh, Babolat Pure Drive 20 odd years ago because he played with it and I, I still play with the Pure Drive today. Great racket. All right, we have a checklist card. Jonas Bjorkman. Nicholas Escude. Alex Kim. Andy Roddick. Is this a Roddick rookie? Might be. Anyway, let's put this together with all of the uh, the nicer cards here and we'll go through them again. We have an Andy Roddick, number four in the set. We have an Agassi, 86. Martina Hingis, 12. Martina Hingis, I think that was an 89. Yep, 89. Andre Agassi again. Number 15. Leighton Hewitt. Number 3. Pete Sampras. It's a cool looking card. Great photo. 87. We have a Rafa Nadal. Rafa. Yeah, he really does look so young in that photo. Number 70, and he, as you can see there, like he was a junior in 2002, so very much his rookie rookie year and rookie card. Pete Sampras, number 14. Lindsay Davenport, former world number one. The uh, slam winner as well. We have a Serena. Interesting looking card. And that's number one in the set. Oh, let's move this back. Number one in the set. Great card. I feel like this will have a. This will definitely. Is, is definitely something worth investing in. Um, raw cards of this. I mean, they're still. In my opinion, dirt cheap. You know, you're talking thirty pounds, fifty dollars for a, a raw card. If that, I mean, you can get them. Some people are still selling them off in like lots of ten, twenty cards, and you can pick them up for ten, twenty dollars, like in in one of the lots. I mean, Serena, like nobody's going to come close to Serena for a very, very long time, if ever, uh, in terms of her, you know, status in the game and what she's done for tennis. Um, yeah, great card. Obviously, alongside her sister, her older sister, Venus. That is number 51. And then we get one of the two Federer cards in the set. This is the number 11 card. Um, let's see. So... 2002 singles ranking number six. So I'm guessing Federer must have gone pro, was it 2000 around that? I mean, we won $3 million in by 2000. No, maybe 1999 then. Something like that. Uh, let's see. Swiss Olympic team member in 2000. Yeah. So definitely in the late 90s. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're looking for something cheap to invest in, into, you really can't go wrong with, you know, 2003 net pro, just premier edition set. Um, they're still cheap enough that you can buy it, kind of forget about it. Um, but you know, what with Federer, this potentially being his last year, 39 years old, going to be 40 in August. Um, I can only see his, his prices, you know, going up from here. I mean, if he can even win another slam, if he can win Wimbledon this year, uh, which I know is his goal. I mean, this, this week was his first tournament back in Doha. He beat Evans in the second round and lost to Basilash Philly in the, in the quarterfinal. Um, but you know, he's coming back from two knee surgeries 
if he can get back to even 90% of his best um, and really have a go at Wimbledon, um, then, yeah, I mean, it will just cement his status as an all-time. I mean, he is he is the GOAT, you know, in my opinion, hands down the GOAT. Um, but, you know, these cards, whilst cheap now, and there's a few of them sort of floating around, pick up a few. You, you, you just can't go wrong. Um, anyway, I've been uh, babbling on for uh, a little bit too long now. Um, you know, hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please... Uh, you know, put it down in the comments. Um, you know, if you like this video and found it interesting and want to know more about tennis, please like and subscribe. Um, we do a lot of other sort of football box breaks, but we're hoping to do a lot more around tennis and golf too, because the two of us, myself, Josh, and um, Ian, who also runs the channel with me, um, you know, tennis and golf are our passions alongside football. So uh, we expect to see a lot more there. All right, thanks for tuning in.